Creating terrains is quite simple. Just grab any terrain, throw it into your scene and add in a sky, and you're finished. If you want to create your own custom terrain, you can always use Nature Builder, in which you can create your own terrains of mountains, rolling hills, complete with your own textures and design ideas. However, this tutorial will focus on characters, props, and other objects that interact with those terrains. Notice in this example I have a pyramid and a sphinx. If I move my sphinx into the pyramid, you can see how my sphinx goes straight through the pyramid. To make the sphinx treat the pyramid as part of the terrain, we must first add this prop of the pyramid to the terrain. To do so, simply click on the pyramid, then right click, and from the menu, select Add to Terrain. Now if you look on the Content Manager, under the Terrain section, you will notice our pyramid is now part of the terrain, and we cannot click on the prop in the preview window anymore. If we wish to convert our pyramid back to a prop, simply select the pyramid under the Terrain section of the Content Manager, then on the Modify panel, press the Convert to Prop button. But for right now, I will leave my pyramid as part of the terrain. But notice, my Sphinx still will penetrate my pyramid when I move the Sphinx towards my pyramid. To adjust for this, we need to select the terrain alignment for our Sphinx. There are two alignments to choose from, Snap and Follow Terrain. If I select Snap, only the Z axis will adjust with the terrain, so my Sphinx will go over the pyramid, but it will not orient to the pyramid. If I select Follow Terrain, then the Sphinx will adjust for X, Y, and Z axis to orient the position of the Sphinx to the pyramid. To demonstrate about collision boxes, I am taking us on a trip to Stonehenge. Notice when I walk my character forward, he will walk straight through those stones. Everything in iClone has a bounding box, and when we turn on Collision, we'll be making that bounding box into an obstacle that cannot be passed through. Therefore, if we turn on Collision for this prop, our character cannot walk through that gap. Oh no! What to do? To fix this, I can also use a trick called Collision Boxes. Simply add in a 3D block. Scale it to the correct size so that it fits around your stones. After you finish scaling, then go to the Modify panel for your 3D box. At the very top of the Modify panel, you see an option for Collision. Turn this checkbox on. Then go to Materials and Textures for the 3D box. Find the tool for Opacity and change that setting to 0. The box can't be seen, but it is still there. And now, when we animate our character again, he cannot walk through those stones. And that is how we can control the collisions of our terrain, as well as how to add props to our terrain.